Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And after taking a couple of days break, okay, we are going to start another interview question today. So this question is asked in my tree as part of interview. The question is write on the SQL for the below scenario. Okay, try to understand this. Okay, here we have employee ID, employee name, salary, as well as when it has been credited. Now the question is, okay, get me the top, top two employees, top two employees who are getting highest salary every month, every month. When, is, when you consider this, right, here, if you see, okay, in this first month, okay, Jan month, 31st date has been, salary has been credited. Okay, here you can see, Ravi is having 1 lakh, Ravi is having 90,000, Ramesh is having 1 lakh 50,000, and Charan is having 2 lakh. The question is, the question which they have asked, okay, get me the top 2 employees, top 2 salary and employees, okay, who are getting highest salary every month, every month as part of, as part of their work. So, here if you understand this, okay, who are the top two salary guys here? Yeah. Ramesh and Charan for the Jan month. At the same time, okay, next we go with the Feb month in 2022. Here again, Ravi as having 2,50,000 and Ravi is having 3 lakh and Ramesh is having 1,60,000 and Charan is having 2,10,000. Here if you observe, Ravi is getting more salary in February as well as Raghu also. So we can consider this, okay. Here, Ravi and Ravi is the two top employees who are earning highest salary. Earning highest salary. But if you wanted to do this, okay, if you wanted to do this, what are the things which you have to do as part of the query? So first, this, this is the input which we have. This is the output. If you see, first output, Janman, Ramesh and Charan. And Feb month, we are going to see Ravi and Ragu. Now, this is the output which they are expecting. We have to write query for this. Okay. So the question comes, if you understand this, okay, we have to use basically dense rank as well as we have to use the date functions. Okay. First, we'll go with the date functions. Then we'll talk about it, rest of the things. First, we have to go ahead and we have to create the table. Okay. We'll get, we'll try to create the tables. Employee, salary, Okay, employee salary. Here you can take this and we have created the employee salary. And here we are inserting the data. Okay, first I'll insert for only 2022. And after that, I'm going to extend this. I'm going to extend this to the another year as well. First we'll insert and then for only single year. Later point of time, what we can do, we can go ahead and we can insert for multiple years. Now, you can go ahead and you can insert this. Now we have inserted the data. Now the question comes, okay, every month who are earning highest, um, who are earning more salary, top two salaries we need it, okay, along with the data. For that first, okay, you need to understand this. If you wanted to do top two salaries for every month, okay, here we have a date column. Here we have a date column. What we have to do? Here we have a single year, okay, try to understand. Here we have a single year 2022. First, what you can do? You can go ahead and you can from this particular credit date, from this particular credit date, what you can do? First, you can extract the extract the month, okay? Extract month, okay? From credit date, okay? Then from, from which table? Employee salary. You are going to get and you are going to use the extract function, then you are going to get the month, okay? which is the month, okay? Then on top of it, what we are going to do? We want top two salaries, top two salaries. So what we can do, select, okay? Select what are the columns which is needed? Consider it, employee ID is needed. Select employee ID, comma, employee name, okay? Employee name, then on top of it, what is there? Next, salary we needed, okay? Salary, then, Credit date, okay, credit date is not needed, okay. If you need credit date as well, you can keep it credit date. Now, what we want, we wanted to take top two highest salaries from each month. 
then we can go ahead and we can use the article function that is print rank over okay what basis you wanted to do that based on every month so you have to use the partition by clause partition by okay if you do partition by directly if you do credit date okay it is not going to work like that okay it is not going to work like that see here we have used the single date but if you have multiple dates for example here you have a 28 okay here you have a 29 okay here we have a 29 as well then it is going to be difficult to do it each date it is going to come but now what we have to do we as earlier i have mentioned here you can extract you can extract month okay you can take it up this okay partition by month okay then on top of it order by salary okay you need tops two salaries then we can make as alias column name alias column name is what basically month wise month wise salary rank salary rank we can keep it okay from which table from which table from employee salary table from employee salary table now first we can go ahead and we can do the analysis if you see if you see order by salary who are getting first ramesh and charan okay here what what we are getting here you can see who are getting first ramesh and charan is getting in jan okay when it comes to feb who are getting top two charan and ramesh here also charan ramesh okay because i am giving every month same salaries that is the reason you can see here if here you can see Ramesh and Charan. Every month, Ramesh and Charan is getting highest salaries. Highest salaries. That is the reason. That is the reason you see here. Ramesh and Charan is getting every month. Now, now, <coughs> what we are going to do here? We are going to get the top two salaries. Now, whenever you are using the tenth rank, we have to go ahead and use the alias whenever you are going ahead and using right you can't use alias names alias column names in the where clause you can't use alias column names suppose if i go ahead and use where month wise salary rank equals to this okay for example if i mention this it is going to throw an error alias columns never be used in the where clause so what we have to do we have to write inline query for that we have to write inline query for that simply what we can do here we can go ahead and we can write the inline query select star from okay select star from you want top two salaries what you want top two salaries then less than or equals to two automatically we are going to get top two salaries per every month here you can see charanan ramesh charanan ramesh here what is the date here what is the date you are seeing jan month who is getting salary highest Charanan Ramesh. Feb also Charanan Ramesh. Now, we have taken only 2022. But this, this particular case, if it is extended, if it is extended another 5 years or 2 years, let's consider we take the 2 years data. Then what is going to happen for this? What is going to happen this? Okay, if you use the extract month, okay, it is going to show only one month okay then that is going to be very difficult okay very difficult and it is going to give you incorrect result so what we have to do we have to extend this solution with a different way now first we'll drop this table okay we'll drop this table drop table table name okay and if you drop the table data as well as structure will go now we have dropped and then what we are going to do we are going to recreate this table we have recreated then we'll go ahead and insert the data for two years. Okay. We'll go ahead and insert the data for two years. First, we'll insert for 2021 as well as 2022. Okay. Here you can see, okay, we are going ahead and we are going to insert the data for two years. Let's insert for two years data. 16 rows has been inserted here. Now, now what we are going to do, we are going to extract the what we want, we have to extract two things. Okay. First, we'll see the data before extracting all those things. First, we'll see the data. Select star from EMP, EMP salary, EMP salary. Okay. We have seen, if you see, 
okay eight rows for 2000 eight rows for 2021 and eight rows for 2022 now what is the question right let me make you understand question each month okay and year we wanted to get we wanted to get top top two salaries two m we wanted to get highest top two highest salaries top two highest salaries along with the along with the details along with the details see here now if you can go ahead and do this if you can go ahead and do this okay let me make and make it let me explain you okay what is happening here you can see what is happening here here you are seeing okay two months if i can go ahead and execute this okay let me show you how it is going to work can you see here how many rows are coming eight rows are coming eight rows are coming but but if you understand this if you understand this okay if you understand this this is not the ideal solution which we have to give okay for example if dates are in different okay if dates are different then we are going to end up incorrectly we are going to end up incorrectly now what we have to do we have to go ahead and we have to even add the year as well year as well so what we are going to do here we are going to extract year from date here we are going to extract from date okay see the solution which i am giving the solution which i am giving with different set of data also it will it should work okay now you see which is the year 2021 here you see 2022 now what we are going to do we are going to concatenate these two concatenate so concat okay concat means it is going to merge date as well as year okay how we are going to do that we are going to use two concat okay here okay one is we are going to and we are going to keep iphone as well as we are going to close here as just we'll write it up like this just to make you understand okay try to understand this how it is going to replicate can can you see here 2021 1 2022 1 2023 one like that we are going to see the data now if you do partition by this if you do partition by this you are going to get even if it is a 2 years or 10 years or 15 years it is going to work it is going to work now what you have to do this particular expression you have to go ahead and you have to apply where you have to apply here in the in the partition by clause in the partition by clause let me make you down okay then you will understand here also we'll keep it over clause in the down side okay now what you have to do this entire clause you have to go ahead and you have to here you have to apply if you apply automatically what is going to happen it is going to run it is going to take this way it is going to take this way and each year it is going to take partition by year and it is going to you are going to order it okay when you are ordering you are assigning the rank once you assign the rank within that particular rank you are going to and taking the top two salaries let's go ahead and execute this <clears throat> can you see here what is the thing here you can see now you, even if you wanted to display this okay even if you wanted to display this particular rank as well okay instead of credit date okay what we have to do we have to go ahead and we have to display this as well what we can do we can go ahead and take it up until here okay and then okay here you are going to here you are going to just let me show you here you are going to just give me one second please here you have to do from here okay from here you are going to do this and here you have to make a single comma if you do this now you will understand much more clearly much more clearly here you can see right in 2021 who are the highest salaries charan and ramesh 21 feb month you are going to see charan and ramesh 2022 also first month charan and ramesh 2022 that also charan and ramesh this is the way you have to do that 
to summarize this question right first you have to using the date functions okay you need to expect you need to expect okay you need to expect month and year and then and second step is concatenate it concatenate it concatenate okay concatenate the year and month okay and step 3 what you are going to do once you are going to concatenate these two right and apply the apply the dennis rank apply the dennis rank for this on on top of year and month okay once you apply filter the filter the rank filter and once you apply dense rank right and order the order by salary on descending order on descending order descending order and you are going to get the rank okay you are going to filter the rank filter the rank so this is the overall five steps which we have to perform as part of this solution if you have any doubts or any clarification on any question please type it in the chat we are going to help you out and we are going to even make you understand this thank you guys thank you so much for liking and subscribing the channel and we are going to see much more questions going further we are going to upload at least two questions in a day so that you are going to see more interview questions till now i have uploaded only sql part and going further we are going to upload the even data warehousing as well as we are going to upload the manual testing and we are going to go with the even big data hive as well as the unix cell scripting interview questions also, also we are going to upload so right now we are mainly focusing on sql which is essential for the interview and as well as we are going to discuss and further data processing concepts especially we discuss about the scds as well as we discuss about the dimension we discuss about the fact table we discuss about the types of facts we discuss about the uh, uh, types of dimensions we are going to discuss in detail about these concepts and expect that from going further we are going to at least two questions going to be uploaded in the channel please subscribe and like the channel if you are looking for anything on in terms of uh, need to upload please let us know so that we are going to upload that thank you guys thank you so much